Welcome back to GB Guns. Thanks for joining us again. We're going to be taking a look at this guy, the Matador Arms Regulator. It's an adjustable brake with more than 60 settings. We took it out to the range on 9mm of all things and uh, did some slow-mo footage to compare and see what it does and what it doesn't do. That's what's coming up next. Stick around. So this is the box that you're going to want to look for if you're interested in one of these. They do have it available in 223, 308, 9mm, and 6.5 Creedmoor. 3.6 inches overall length and just over an inch outer diameter. Weighs 6.8 ounces and it's made out of 4140 steel with a nitride coating. So this is a definite heavy duty type design. Uh, just wanted to mention those sizes there in case you're considering this for competition. Note that it is probably too long for most competitions. That doesn't mean, however, that it doesn't work well for fun. So, had the chance to try this out, saw that one was coming um, a, way, a ways out from Matador Arms, and uh, when I talked to him about it, I said, does it really work on 9mm? And I said, yeah. I was like, well, is there really enough gas? coming out of a 9mm PCC to work and you can see the barrel length here this is I want to say an 8 inch from Freedom Ordnance the FX9 we've got tons of videos on all three versions of the FX9 but uh, slapped it on here and I gotta say visually it looks pretty darn good on the gun let's take a look at how this thing actually works so it's click adjustable between different settings once you take pressure off the spring I'll strip this down real quick and you can see so here you're looking at the core of the brake this is where all of your ports both vertical and horizontal and you notice there's a bit of a, a shape cut to them there to help direct gas the idea behind a brake is generally chambers like this or ports like this the gas hits the wall here and that pulls forward on the gun that's why you want the relief here so the gas can come out gas coming out of the top, the rifle's now on its side, or the pistol's on its side, is your compensation. By venting gases upward, it pushes the muzzle down and helps negate muzzle rise. So you've got this long piece here that threads on, comes with the crush washer. It's got uh, plenty of services to get a wrench on there. We've got the spring, the body goes on, and then, if I can do this while staying on camera, you pull back against it, then throw it on your end piece. And you notice the end piece here has some teeth and there's matching teeth on this shield or cover if you will. That threads on and wherever you stop threading it determines how open this brake is. So I can go further out and you can see now it's beyond its ideal spot. It's gone too far. I can come back really far and now you can see it's closed up almost entirely there's just little tiny cracks there on the sides i found that fully closed is actually a little bit farther forward from that and you can see as we adjust that our vertical ports open up and our sides open up so what we did was we took out the fx9 with this brake on it and some yavex ammunition Yavex is some Turkish stuff. It's loaded pretty hot. Um, I wanted to get the most effect without going plus P. And um, I shot it and Maddie shot it in three different positions, three of the 60. Fully closed, fully open of course, and somewhere in the middle. We did it slow-mo to try to see what difference it made in movement of the muzzle, both recoil and rise. And you might be asking why 60 positions, because that is a lot. For your average Joe, probably not that big of a deal. If you are running this on say a 308 or a 65 Creedmoor or 556 that you've got dialed in real tight and you know exactly which load you want to be using, that's where all those adjustments would come in. Because each load, and you've seen this in our what's for dinner test, both rifle and pistol, each load has a different recoil impulse and duration of recoil depending on how quickly the bullet's moving. And so how that impacts these ports is going to be different from load to load. We use just one load to try to keep things consistent, but uh, were this to be a competition gun, depending on the class, because of course it is longer than 
some of the rules out there. You would be tuning this to exactly how you want it, or on like a big rifle, you can tune it uh, well to, to your specific load. I also like the adjustability because let's say you're shooting outdoors by yourself, it doesn't matter, have this thing wide open, all that blast and gust and everything that comes off of the muzzle brake is fine, and then you're gonna go shoot at an indoor range or suddenly somebody shows up and your brake features aren't that important, you can tighten it up and now you're shooting quieter and you're not blasting your neighbors. So let's take a look at that slow-mo footage. I'll label it and we'll see what did what for whom. All the way closed. All the way open. So this, by this point, you've seen the slow motion footage. I myself haven't seen it yet. Didn't want to before giving my opinion. And that was both myself, my girlfriend who was on hand there, and Maddie, who tried, all, tried this in all three positions. We all found, all three, I guess it's not both, is it? <laughs> all three of us found that uh, a mid position, uh, somewhere in the middle, was the sweet spot for that ammo and this particular pistol. We didn't keep going to, to tune it super tight yet. We just wanted to get some results out there. But I found it interesting that the fully open, though it definitely caught some gas, and I'll tell you there's a lot more gas coming out of 9mm than I expected. But uh, fully open wasn't wasn't ideal. Uh, and so that's where it's kind of cool that this was adjustable because had you bought just one brake, 
you're stuck with just that one break. Whereas this can serve as essentially 60 different breaks for you. So that's the Matador Arms Regulator. You can find them online. I can't say any website stuff without uh, getting in YouTube trouble. So, you know, use the Google. Okay, Google is your friend. Thanks for watching. That was the Matador Regulator.